Hey, Shalom, Shalom. Giving our praises, our glory, our honors unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kakudash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Pray, hope the brothers are having a. Pray, hope the brothers are having a. And sisters out there and the families are having a. a very uh, reflective and examining. Um, yet, yet, you know, your past start to the Day of Atonement uh, this year for those that follow GMS 2023. As always, double honors to the Apostles of Elder Green Millstone. Uh, so we had went to camp earlier tonight going into the Day of Atonement earlier this evening. And there was just a few scriptures that I wanted to bring out that I wasn't able to, but I want to still go into them briefly. Um, to uh, continue to edify in the spirit, you know, and build us up in this time. And we were just speaking on at the camp, we were speaking on um, on uh, the fact that us having to make atonement, you know, keep the high holy days and make an atonement for our sins and what we've done in the, you know, in the past and even within this life. And as we continue to um, be a part of this faith and this ministry, we want to make sure we continue to understand and acknowledge, um, you know, Yahweh Shai and all of this and what he's done for us to even give us this opportunity to turn back to the Lord. Okay? So this is Romans, the fifth chapter. All right? Because Yahweh Shai has, as we were speaking on at the camp, you know, he has uh, um, brought reconciliation to the elect back with the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Okay? So this is Romans, the fifth chapter, and verse six. It says, For when we were yet without strength, in due time, Yahweh Shai died for the ungodly. For scarcely for a righteous man, which Christ it says here, but we know that's Yahweh Shai, which in the Hebrew that's... uh that word Christ is Hamashiach, which is the Messiah, the anointed one. Okay? And it says, For scarcely for a righteous man will one die, yet peradventure for a good man some would even dare to die. All right, let me get that in the in the NLT real quick. Okay. So this is Romans chapter 5, verse 6 again in the NLT. It says, when we were utterly helpless, Hamashiach came at just the right time and died for us sinners, which those that sin, which sin is the transgression of the laws of Moses, all right, which the laws that Moses gave were only given to the Israelites. So only Israelites can sin. You know, it's just like, uh, only the employees that work at Target can violate their policies. If you're not an employee of Target, how are you in violation of their policies when it comes down to the contract you made between employee and, and the employer? If you don't work for Target, then it doesn't. those policies at the workplace don't apply, uh, apply to you. So it's the same thing here. Okay, the laws, statutes, and commandments were given to the Israelites. So the Israelites, our people were the ones in violation, which made us sinners. So that is why we had to have one of our brothers, which was Yahweh Shai of Nazareth, come. All right, he was revealed as the Messiah, especially, you know, in his death on the cross. He was revealed to be the, the Messiah, the chosen elect. Um, man to 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 
bring us back to the heavenly father. And that's what it's saying here. He died for us sinners, which are Israelites, which are so-called blacks, Hispanics, and, and, uh, and, and Native Americans. It says, now, most people would not be willing to die for an upright person, though someone might perhaps be willing to die for a person who was especially good. Okay? See, people don't understand Yahweh Shai, who the word ignorantly calls Jesus. He put his neck on the line for his own people. Right? Like how to, you know, today... Going back to the civil rights movement, you know, they say, oh, oh, well, you know, our people marched and got dogs sicked on them and, 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 and got water hosed and locked up, you know, for you to have these rights here in America. Well, that's what Yahweh Shai did for us as a nation, as a race of people. Yahweh Shai sacrificed his life, got put on the cross got deemed a rebel by the Roman government, okay? Got deemed a traitor and a liar by his own people. The the, the wicked scribes and Pharisees that ruled over the Israelites at the time over 2,000 years ago, he put himself on the line to die for us Israelites that have been rebellious against the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Okay, so that's what this is saying here. Okay. It says, but the Most High showed his great love for us by sending, all right, Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, to die for us while we were still sinners. See, we still under the, the, the curse of the law, pursuing the Deuteronomy 28th chapter. It says, and since we have been made right in the Heavenly Father's sight by the blood, his sacrifice of Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, he will certainly save us from the Heavenly Father's condemnation. All right, so now let me go back to the KJV and read that. Okay. Romans 5 and 7 again. It says, For scarcely for a righteous man will one die. People are not going to die. For anyone, really. Maybe you die for a good cause. You know, like, people believed in Martin Luther King in the past. So they marched and believed in his cause. And they were, you know, they, they boycotted the buses. Right? Because people believed that, that what so you know Martin Luther King was doing a right thing. Okay? M.O.K. Jr. Yet, peradventure for a good man, some would even dare to die. And even more so for, you know... Anyone else that our people, you know, deem as a leader of the people. Okay. Verse, verse eight, but the heavenly father commended his love toward us. And that while we were yet sinners, those of us that believe in his son, Hamashiach Yahweh Shai died for us. So he died for the believers because you have our people out there that don't know the Israelites. And they know the Israelites, but don't know or believe in the 100% truth of his son, the record of his son, pursuing to, uh, I believe that's First John, the fifth chapter. You, you know, you have to believe in the record of the son that the Heavenly Father gave, who Yahweh Shah was. Okay? So even when we were ignorant, we were living in America, we were messed up, jacked up, believing in all kinds of philosophies and and customs and holidays and whatever, Yahweh Shah already put itself on the line for us. Those that will come in and believe, which would be the elect chosen from the foundation of the world. Anybody can't be the elect. You had to already be the elect and chosen. You know, we just hope that we are the elect, the hopeful elect. Okay? But the elect are chosen already. We just hope that us individually that, that push this gospel, all right, especially uh, the men of great minister, we believe and hope that we're of the elect and chosen. It says, verse 9, much more than being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from the wrath through him. And the wrath is going to come 
when the Heavenly Father sends the nuclear missiles via the uh, the uh, armies of the earth, the governments of the earth, America, Russia, and all these countries, you know, Iran and China and all these countries, actually going into what, what would be known as World War Three. That's why that's been all over the news in, in recent years, which in the scriptures is known as the War of Armageddon or the Battle of Armageddon. But that really, that's really the Lord bringing his wrath to, to judge the wicked in the earth, have them destroy themselves. But we don't want to take part in that wrath. Verse 10, it says, For if when we were enemies, because at one time we were rebellious against the, the, the commandments of the Heavenly Father's laws, you know, with Israel, we were celebrating Christmas and, and, and Thanksgiving and all these different, you know, customs, of our oppressors, all right, here in this country and around the world, not knowing and understanding what we were doing. But that, but we were spiritually, we were enemies because when you read the Bible, we have our holidays, we have Passover, we have the Day of Atonement, we have the Feast of Tabernacles, we have the Sabbath, okay? We have the, our customs that we follow. And our rules of life to live by our laws and commandments. Okay? Our statutes. It says much more. I'm sorry, verse 10. For if if when we were enemies, now we're no longer enemies. Because we now believe in Yahweh Shai. That hey, you know what? If we repent and say, Lord, I'm sorry. We're able to get back in the good graces of the Lord. Alright? The Most High. For, for if when we were enemies... We were reconciled to the Most High by the death of His Son. Which you can read Isaiah the 53rd chapter to get that understanding. Much more, being reconciled, we shall be saved by His life. Because He came on, He was born via Joseph and Mary. They had physical intercourse. He was born. That's why when you read the the, uh, the, uh, the book of John, it says the first he was born, the first of many brethren, meaning he was just the first one to be born the same way we would be born. Born in sin, born of a woman. All right. That, you know, uh, read the book of Hebrews. OK, just read the New Testament, the scriptures and the testimony that they have about the beginnings and origins of Yahweh Shai. In the flesh and in the spirit. Now, generations later, we're being born to do and pick up the 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 torch, so to speak, the cross, right? The burden of what he did by preaching this gospel. Okay, us brothers that teach. So we're going to be saved by his life because he was able to 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 grow up and live, and the heavenly father blessed him. So He's going to bless us as well. Romans the 8th chapter says that we shall be joint heirs with Yahweh Shai. Okay? Verse 11. And not only so, but we also joy in the Heavenly Father through our Lord Yahweh Shai, Mashiach. This is why we say Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? It's Yahweh in the name of his son Yahweh Shai. That's how we get to the Father, okay? By whom we have now received the atonement. We have now received atonement through the Spirit. But we keep the high holy day of the fast, which is no eating or no drinking, for 24 hours, afflicting our souls, you know, denying our flesh of food and water, yet remaining spiritual and faithful to the Heavenly Father through His Son, Okay, we keep it because we're saying we're, we're sorry. We're going to turn back and keep these days and keep these moments and remember you, right? Remembering the Lord. But it's through Yahweh Shai we've already gotten that atonement. We have it. Okay, we just have to keep going and being faithful. And we show, like Paul said, we show our faith by doing the works. We keep the laws to the best of our ability. But Yahweh Shai has opened the door, excuse me, for us to get that atonement. Okay? 
So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna read that in the in the NLT. So it'll be a little bit more more easier to digest through the spirit. So you can understand. This is uh Romans chapter five. And eight, but the heavenly Father, which is God, showed His great love for us, the elect of the Israelites, so-called Black fans and Native Americans. We know this by sending His Son, Hamashiach Yahweh to die for us while we were still sinners. But then He woke us up to the truth of who we really are, and since we have been made right in the heavenly Father's sight. By the blood of Hamashiach Yahushai, he will certainly save us from the heavenly father's condemnation. So when the Lord destroys this world and this society, we will be delivered and physically saved by the chariots, by the UFOs. Okay. And we'll praise the Lord that we didn't take part in the judgment that the, the Lord is going to put on the earth. Which, by the way, you know, brothers are already seeing chariots going into the Day of Atonement this night. I did, I, I took a f pictures in the video, and Lord willing, if it's, if, if it's uh, uh, edifying, I'll put that video up after this. But, hey, man, you know, Yahweh Bashman Shai is doing some great works, you know. And we're in Atlanta, right? So you got this, uh, uh, this uh, guy, Trump, uh, had got uh, booked in the jail, right, earlier this evening, you know. Hey, Kala Yahweh Bashmi Shai, because he's one of the, the Edomites, one of the enemies of Israel. But, we, you know, and it's crazy because we here at GMS, we're keeping, you know, the Day of Atonement for our repentance. So you got our enemies being judged, and, and, and even though it's, it's within this, you know, this American system, you know, it's it's still a show of good faith from the Lord that Esau is not going to get away. Okay? But anyway, it says, For since our friendship with the Heavenly Father was restored, you have to already had to have a relationship and a friendship with the Heavenly Father in order for something to be restored. It had to be broken. So this can't be talking about the other nations because all nations, when you read the Bible, the Moabites and Ammonites and Jebusites and Canaanites and Amites and Japhites and these people, they, they didn't have a friendship with the Lord. The Lord chose Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So when you read Romans, it's not talking about the white Romans and the other nation Romans. No, talking about the Israelites that lived in Rome, that called themselves Romans. They are now restored back to being Israelites by the death of his son while we were still his enemies, while we were enemies following other ways. Back then it was Romans, today it's Americans, and whatever other country our people are scattered, you know. It says we will certainly be saved through the life of his son. So now we can rejoice in our wonderful new relationship with the Heavenly Father, because our Lord, Yahweh Shai, has made us friends of the Heavenly Father. So that's what it means by the atonement. Yahweh Shai died to bring us back to the friendship and also to be sons, starting with the men of Israel, for us to come back to be his people again. Okay, so this atonement is very important. And this is what we have to understand as we go through this, this next few hours afflicting our souls, this next day afflicting our souls. We say, hey, Lord, the water for taking us back, the water to Yahweh Shai, the water to Yahweh Shai for sending the Holy Spirit so we can get the understanding, you know. And we, of course, give double honors to the men that taught us this truth that we... Uh, we're able to, um, to uh, 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 um, you know, learn this. But hey, with that, you know, I hope this was edifying. Our uh, praises go to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bashem, Krakodash, the Lord to the Apostles, the Elders of Great Millstone, Shalom.